particular dry portal was built in 1980s and it was used to capture rainfall water from the river Rokitka and other streams around it. Dry polder is situated in a place where in the 18th century was a big pond, but it was eventually released, dried out and turned into a field. The entire area was intended for water flooding and the river banks were squared and fortified. There was a big degradation of the local habitat, which is also part of the natural park Klanovica Chihadla. It is the biggest dry boulder in Prague with a surface of 27 hectares. In this picture from 2003, we can see how a river rocket can dry port of Chihadla looked like. In 2008, construction was in progress. And this is how it looks in 2011. The rocket is now meandering and there are small ponds around it. Before remediation, the bottom topography of River Rokitka and the lacks of minimum depth did not provide a friendly environment for fishes and other aquatic organisms. This had a negative effect on the functioning of wetland communities in those sites as well. Revitalization of this area is the biggest remediation project of freshwater ecosystems in the city of Prague. Revitalization supported wetland and freshwater ecosystem processes, local streams and rivers got their original natural look back, and in their surroundings it was created many ponds and small lakes. New river banks are becoming nesting sites for many bird species, for example a common kingfisher. Some amphibians are using wetland vegetation as a place for reproduction. New stream beds were planted with common alder, cocosian ash, maple, sycamore, oak tree, shrubs and different types of grasses. Main task, beside environmental one, was creating a tourist natural area near busy city environment. Under the project was destroyed a bad fortification and instead of it, it was created a system of tiny shallow meandering streams with wetland plants and animals. There were created wetlands and moving meadows including touristic paths and trails with a few information boards.